There exists plenty of different types of displays and they all have different characteristics and functionalities. The perfect ideal display or you can call it a screen should have a high refresh rate, low power consumption, high resolution, sufficient brightness, good contrast and color accuracy. Naturally, some of these qualities are traded off for others. For example, it is obvious that a TV will require a different type of display than a temperature sensor. A TV will be focusing on delivering the nicest, most colorful, smooth and attractive image. However, a temperature sensor may only need to display a couple of numbers as reliably as possible and have super low power consumption. In this example, one could choose to implement a large OLED screen for the TV and a small LCD screen for the sensor. It would clearly be foolish to do it the other way around. The most common modern displays include liquid crystal displays LCD, quite cheap and reliable over a longer period of time. Light emitting diode displays LED, more expensive but provide a nicer picture quality. Segment displays, very simple and cheap displays usually used in scenarios where only a couple of symbols need to be shown. Let us discuss the working principle behind a display. They take digital data and put it on a screen in the form of tiny pixels. They are usually in the shape of a rectangle or in fancier terms, a matrix of little LEDs or fluorescent lights depending on the type of the display. An LCD screen works by blocking a part of the light to create an image. To function it requires a so-called backlight. An LED screen works by emitting its own light with tiny LEDs. In my opinion, they are somewhat opposites of each other. Side note, a very interesting feature of OLED displays is their ability to turn off some pixels completely. This adds more contrast to the image and enables the device to use less power. One common protocol used in small displays is the I2C protocol. Many people enjoy it because of its simplicity. To use it, you usually have to connect only two wires, so it is very easy to just hook them up to an Arduino or some other controller. Some older displays can be very interesting as well, for example Nixie displays, which are really just electron valves. But that is a subject for a different video. This is all from me, subscribe, like and comment for more content and see you in the next one. Bye.